And Missouri Nation at day one of the 31 Day Safer Pilot Challenge pulled everybody's heartstrings, but it left something else we need to work on. What's the one maneuver every pilot should master? So, M0 Nation, what is the most important maneuver every pilot should master? I believe, well, it's a combination of maneuvers, really. When's the last time you simulated an engine failure all the way down to the ground? I mean, to landing. Think back to Chris's story, right? He was short of the runway, but he still put that airplane exactly where he needed that airplane to be. It's a skill set I hope you never have to use, but it's one we need to practice. How can I go from 2,500 feet to a spot on that runway? That's what we're going to work on here today. Let's say hypothetically, unfortunately, my engine just quit. My car beat comes on. My power comes back. We run through our ABCs of our emergency checklist. The A is for airspeed. I'm pitching for my best glide speed. I want to stay up here as long as possible. B is for my best landing area. Right now, it's right below me. Mark Island traffic, Skyhawk 23 Mike Zulu, right up atop the field, 2,500 feet. Can be spiraling down for a landing, runway 35. It'll be a full stop at Marco Island. Let's see how much of Marco Island we can actually see. I'm going to keep it right underneath me here, because if not, as you'll see quickly, you're going to be swimming out here if you want to come up short. Where did runway 35 go? There it is. Right back behind me here. I'm going to hold my best glide speed a little bit faster if I'm going to be turning like this. This isn't quite a, a steep spiral by any means. We've done steep spiraling videos. What we're doing is we're simulating coming all the way down to the ground and hitting a point. You hear in private pilot, oh, the first third of the runway. That's all great, but again, think back to yesterday of Chris's story. He had to put it between those mesquite trees, right? If he hit a mesquite tree, it'd be a very, very different outcome than we have. And really, these first few days are all going to be geared towards this precision landing technique. So to give you some perspective, I just did a full 360. At best glide speed, I lost 500 feet. So I'm noting that and I'm watching that. And I'm going to keep gliding right over top of the airport. My goal in this situation... I've practiced Power Off 180s. Power Off 180 is a video coming up in a few days for this 31 days safer. Mike Zulu, a big fan. Yep, to the Mike Zulu, I'm right over top of the field at 2,000 feet. So if you need to depart, go head on out. And I'll maybe like a right down for 3-5 here in just a second. Okay, uh, Cirrus 5.5 Sierra Charlie is departing 3-5. We'll be a left turn out to the west. Marco Island. Perfect. So he's, I'm watching him right out here. He probably don't have an angle where he can... See him, there he is, can you see him now? Uh, right down there. My goal is to set this up to be on a, in their case, a right down, basically a tight downwind. With my power, so it's just like a power off 180 at this point. I'm at 1,400 feet. As you can imagine, Marco Island, we're, that's, the, that's the Gulf of Mexico right there. We're at sea level, basically. I'm at 1,300 feet. I've got this thing trimmed up for best glide speed too, mind you, make that real easy. Now. Here's a rule I operate by. Let me turn my right downwind. Marco Island traffic, Skyhawk 2 3 Mike Zulu's turning right downwind, runway 35, Marco Island. Here's the rule. It is much easier to get down in this case than it is to get this airplane <laughs> back up in this situation. We're going to talk about slips to land actually in tomorrow's video. But for now, we're going to work on a nice precision landing right around the runway numbers is where I'm shooting for. i got plenty of runway though, so I always utilize that. I'm going to not use flaps until I know I have that runway made. And let me tell you something, I know 2-3 Mike Zulu very, very well. I know I have that runway made. I'm going 10 degrees of flaps. Those are in. I'm turning base. Mark on traffic. Scott, 2 3 Mike Zulu's are turning right base. 3-5, full stop, Marco. 700 feet. A little Mark higher. Island traffic, blue series, left crosswind. 3-5. Departing to the west. A little higher than I would normally be in this situation. And, I, and again, I'm not looking for precision, rollout wings level, perfect base. I'm keeping this turn coming all the way around. This is an emergency, right? I do what I have to do. You just heard that 500 foot call out. This is look, I know I have that runway made, wings level for a second here. Next notch of flaps coming in. All is looking good. Marco Island traffic, uh, Skyhawk 2 3 Mike Zulu is turning final for 3 5 full stop Marco. 
I, if anything right now in this situation, I am high, which is awesome. I'm going to give it a little slip to land here. I'm going to show you a slip to land tomorrow's video, so spoiler alert, you can be watching for that. And I'll be showing you all of that here. Everything is looking great. And now we're going to come in. We're going to end up touching down right a little bit, uh, right a, just before the 1,000-foot mark, so I had to guess, right? We're looking good. We're doing our best to not leave any good runway behind us. A little bit back there, but nothing major. To a nice, smooth landing. I trimmed up for it, so life is good. And we put it down, just like we said, a hair before the 1,000-foot marks. When's the last time you went from 2,500 feet AGL down to a landing? power off. It would benefit you greatly to practice that level of precision and work to fine tune it. Hey, tomorrow I'm going to be teaching you that slip to land that you just saw. We'll be talking power on 80s, my best short field landing tips, all of that. Because keep thinking to Chris's story. It became a precision landing awfully quickly and, and not exactly where he wanted, but it ended up where he intended it to go. He wanted it on the runway, obviously, doesn't every pilot, but he made the best of that situation. Think of it that way. I want to step on that guy. Mark on traffic, talk to the Mike Zulu's clear of uh, the runway, Marco. All right taxiing us on back. So think of it that way. How can you get out and practice something that looks so simple, but I'll tell you, when you get out and do it, it's much more difficult than you would imagine. M-Zero Nation, you are such a blessing to us. Thank you for the subscribes. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the comments, too. We just love you guys. You're absolutely wonderful. Thank you for playing full out in the Safer Pilot Challenge. Hey, will you check in in the comment section on YouTube or on Facebook? Go head over there real quick and just say, hey, Jason, I'm two for two. Let me know, because I want to be your accountability partner. I want to see some 31s for 31s by the end of this. Well, so leave me some comments below. Who's two for two? Put it in the comments below. Have a blessed, amazing, outstanding rest of your day. Because I know 22, uh, 2022 is going to be your safest flying year yet. Have an amazing day, and most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you. Hey, Jason again. I just want to make sure you already have a copy of the Private Pilot Blueprint. It's actually a free book. All I ask is that you just pay shipping. It's everything I wish someone would have told me before I started my flight training. How to save time and money throughout the entire process. And again, it's yours. Just pay shipping and handling and the team here at m0.com will send it out to you. Visit privatepilotblueprint.com to get your copy.